Greetings. In this video, I want to help you troubleshoot a plume Wi-Fi extender not working any longer with your internet. So as you can see, I actually have an ethernet cord connected directly to my laptop here. All right, and we're going to troubleshoot it not working any longer. All right, so let's go back to the room where the router is. Okay, we're going to go to the internet router where I have the plume antenna connected right here. So first thing I want you to do is make sure that you got internet coming in from the town. So wherever you're at, check another device, um, a laptop, a desktop, a TV, whatever, and see if you're getting internet connection somewhere else. If you're not, then you know the issue is not with your Wi-Fi extender, your plume extender, it's actually with internet. So what you want to do, and what I'm about to do now should troubleshoot all of it, but what we're going to do is we're going to unplug everything. So we're going to unplug the power to the router. We're going to unplug the plume extender here, as you can see here. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and unplug the town, the cord where the internet's actually going into the router, and unplug this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wait a good 10 to 15 minutes while everything is unplugged. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to where my laptop is and we're going to unplug that. Okay, let's go ahead and unplug this antenna, the plume antenna from the wall that shows the model number right there. And then we're going to, like I said, we're going to wait 15 minutes and then we're going to plug everything back in. All right, let's go back to where our router is. Plug up the internet back into the router. Go ahead and plug back our antenna and our power. And we'll give that a good five minutes and see if we're getting a connection there. That should fix the problem. There are some plumes that have a reset button. Uh, and so what you can do is hold down the reset button for a good 10 seconds, release, okay, and reset it and see if that will fix the issue. Some have the reset button with like a little pinhole that you use like a, a paper clip or a safety pin. You hold that down for 10 seconds, release and reset it and see if that will work. Now, if you've tried all that and it doesn't work, if you have the Plume app on a phone, go ahead and remove it off of your phone and then re go ahead and reintroduce it back to your Plume app. All right, and then tell me if that works. That should work. If not, it's a possibility that one of the Plume antennas is broken or faulty. It, you should see like a little light coming on and blinking um, that, to let you know that if it's on. If not, you might have to purchase a new one. I'll put a link in the, in the comment section on Amazon where you can buy more. Um, Plume is good, but I also recommend Eero by Amazon, which is a very good Wi-Fi extender with mesh technology. And what mesh technology, that's Amazon Mike, E-S-H, stands for, basically it means that you can connect an Ethernet directly to the, um, directly to the antenna. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.